we're asked to evaluate the limit if possible. We have the limit of four x to the fourth minus four y to the fourth divided by the quantity two x squared minus two y squared as x comma y approaches one comma one. Notice at the point one comma one, we have division by zero. We also have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. This does not mean the limit does not exist. It just means we can't find the limit of the function by performing direct substitution with the function in this form. Let's first take a look at the graph of the given function. So here we see the graph of the given function as well as the point one comma one, and we can see the function does have discontinuity at this point, which is why we cannot find the limit by performing direct substitution. However, it does appear if we approach this point from various paths, we would be approaching the same function value, and therefore it does appear that the limit does exist. So what we're gonna be able to do here is factor the given function to create a function where we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. The graph of the simplified function after factoring will look like this. So this function is similar to the original function, it just does not have discontinuity like the other function has. We can see from this graph, as we approach the point from all different paths, we are approaching the same function value, and because this function is defined at the point one comma one, we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. So going back to our limit, we will begin by factoring the original function. Let's first factor the greatest common factor from the numerator and denominator. So we factor four from the numerator, and we factor two from the denominator. Notice how we have a difference of squares in the numerator as well as the denominator. But because our numerator has higher powers, let's only factor the numerator. So we have four times the quantity x squared plus y squared times the quantity x squared minus y squared in the numerator. And now you can see why we didn't want to factor the denominator. Notice in its current form, we have a common factor of x squared minus y squared between the numerator and denominator. So simplifying, x squared minus y squared divided by itself simplifies to one. We can also simplify four divided by two is equal to two, or there's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. Simplifying, we have two times the quantity x squared plus y squared. So the function f of x comma y equals two times the quantity x squared plus y squared is not the same function as the original function. This new function does not have the discontinuity the original function did, but the limit of this function will be the same as the limit of the original function. So now we know the original limit is equal to the limit of two times the quantity x squared plus y squared as x comma y approaches one comma one. And again, we can find this limit by performing direct substitution. This just gives us two times the quantity one squared plus one squared, which is equal to two times two, which is equal to four. So going back to our graph one last time, we now know as we approach the point one comma one from all paths, we would be approaching the same function value of positive four. And that is true for this function that we found by factoring, as well as the original function, this function here, that has a discontinuity. I hope you found this helpful.